Hello, Roberto. Hello, teacher. How's it going? How is it going? Mm. Oh, good. Yes. Uh, when yeah, I say yeah. like, like uh, how, how is it going? Similar. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, how is it going? It's the same. Uh, Similar. Okay. Okay. okay, so you just answer uh, pretty good, very good, not that, yes. So we have some other uh, expressions like, let, let me show you that. And we have Alexander. Hi, Alexander. How's it going? So we, we have this one. For example, the normal one is like, how are you doing, right? Yes. How are you doing? And then I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm great. Good. This is one question. You can also, you can also say, for example, like this. I'm um, sorry. Uh, how is it going? How's it going? Yes. How's it going? Similar. Or you can also say how, how, how's. Let me make an apostrophe. How's everything? How's everything? Hey, how's everything? Mm -hmm. Yes. How's everything? So we have three similar sentences so how are you doing so then you said i am good i am fine i am okay i'm great and fantastic but uh, when you use how is it going or how is everything you don't say i am just for example you say like uh uh for example like this maybe uh pretty good all right very good not bad right okay everything everything is okay everything is okay everything is fine everything is good right so we had three similar sentences i'm sorry questions how are you doing this ¿Cómo estás? le pregunta uno su estado de ánimo por eso uno contesta con i am yo estoy, right? I am good, I am fine, I'm great, I'm thank you. Pero, cuando tenemos how is it going, and, and how is everything, how is it going, cómo te va, y el otro es cómo está todo. Entonces, ya no decimos estoy bien, sino que pretty good, everything is okay. You don't need to say I am. All right? Oscar, how is everything, Oscar? Oscar, how is everything? Mm -hmm. Oscar, the audio, the audio, you need to set up the audio. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, uh, how, everything. How is, every, how is everything? Uh, ¿Cómo están todos? Uh, uh, no. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo está todo? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo está todo? Okay. So you can say everything uh, is okay, everything is fine, everything, everything is good. Every Everything is is okay. Everything is okay. So okay. to everything is okay. All yes. right. Or you can say, for example, uh, like this: everything is fine. Okay. All right. Everything is good. I don't know. It depends. Uh, everything is everything is nice. everything is nice. So you can use this expression, right? How is how's it going or how's everything? So how's everything? So for example, I would say like root, how's it going, root? How's it going? Hi. Hi. I listen. How's it going? Mm -hmm. I listen. Yes. How's it going? Now, okay. now you answer me. How's it going? Um going uh -huh. i'm sorry i don't comprehend how's it going uh -huh. Como es, i don't know okay Como don't worry going? yes todos conocemos la expresión how are you doing like how are you doing yeah uno contesta yo i am i am good mm -hmm. fine i'm great right pero tenemos otra 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 pregunta que es similar pero ya no cómo estás tú sino hey ¿Cómo te va? ¿O ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo van las cosas? And then, uh, you said, uh, pretty good, uh, very good, uh, I don't know. Yes, you can say very good or 
you can also say like uh, very well, very well, thank you. Yes, pero en este cuando le dicen how is it going, uno no responde con I am, porque no nos están preguntando acerca de nuestro estado de ánimo, sino que acerca de las cosas, por ejemplo, el trabajo. Hey, how's it going in your job? Hey, how's everything? Sim similar, how is everything is like your family, your work, your everything, right? Your life. How is everything? So then we don't say I am. I am. It's I correct. Am nice. No. In this yes. Okay, it's correct. Uh, the answer uh, about your question. Um, excellent. Mm -hmm. Or amazing. Only. Only the Only that. Word. Yes. yes. Okay. Aquí, aquí no respondemos con el yo, con el, perdón, con el, con el I am, porque no nos están preguntando nuestro estado de ánimo, sino okay. cómo están las cosas. Entonces solo decimos, very good, pretty good, all right, not bad, right, I can't complain. So you have a lot of expressions. So, yes, not bad, not bad, right, okay. Uh, for, you can also use uh, this one, I can't. I can't complain. I can't complain. I can't complain. It's like a no me puedo quejar, right? Como está todo? I can't complain. I can't complain. I can't complain. 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 I can't complain. 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 I can't complain. 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 I can't complain. Complain is quejarse, right? But when you say, I can't complain, it's like, no me puedo quejar. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I would say, uh, for, uh, let me say, Alexander, uh, how, is, how is everything at Iron Man? How is everything at Iron Man? All good. All good. All good, okay. It's another way you can say, all, all good. Todo bien, right? All good, thank you, right? Like, like, like MC Hammer is all good. Yes. It's a, it's a rough music. Like, all good. So, uh, this, in this case, you don't say I am all good. No, just all good. All good. So, remember, how you doing? How's it going? Or how's everything? And, and more informal is like, a, a, what, what's up, right? Like, what? What's up? This is more. This is more casual. This is more like with friends. It's more colloquial. Colloquial. This is with friends. It's informal. This is informal. For example, in in a work environment, like for example, with your supervisor, with your bosses, you don't say, "Hey, boss, what's up." No, no, it's, it's informal. But with your friends, yes, it's okay. With your best friends, your, your close friends, you can call like, hey, what's up? Like, hey, hi. Hey, oh, how do you say that in Spanish? For example, let me see. Uh, Walter, how do you greet Harrison? When you have Harrison, how do you greet Harrison? Hola, how are you? 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 Hey, yeah. huh? How? I'm sorry, teacher. I don't know. Listen. Okay. En español, ¿cómo saluda usted a Herson? Por ejemplo, si son buenos amigos, son compañeros de trabajo, se llevan bien. ¿Cómo lo saluda? Ah. Sería. Sí, sí, sí. Hi, Herson. How are you today? Okay, but that's, that is formal, very formal, right? How are you today? How are you doing? That's very formal. But normally in Spanish, we don't, we don't say like, for example, hola Cesar, como estas? Right? We don't speak like that. Si son buenos amigos, como se saludan? Que onda. Que onda, right? Hey, what's up? Que onda. What's up? Yeah, so it, what's up? Hi, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is more hey. informal. It's informal, but it's part of... What's up, Niga? Yeah. It's what's up. 
Yeah, only what's up. And, and yeah. the word nigga, it's, it's forbidden. It's just, all right. It's a little bit, it, well, it's very offensive. The word nigga is very offensive for uh, some people. So you, you cannot use it, right? Okay. Great. So welcome. I have Elena. I have uh, Robert. Carlos is coming. So we have many things to do. Did you do the homework? I sent you the homework. Did you do it? Did you do the homework? Yes? Okay, we will check. Uh, because uh, we're going to have. Uh, we will have today, let me see, today, tomorrow, and uh, oh, on Friday. So then uh, first of Friday, we will have our first greeting evaluation. We're going to have our first greeting evaluation. So we need to uh, uh, practice the simple present, the verb to be, the possessive adjective, right, for Friday. Yes. El viernes tenemos nuestra primera evaluación escrita, todo lo que hemos visto. El presente simple, las reglas de las terceras personas, por ejemplo, she go to a school, es incorrecto. ¿eh? Goes to school. O pregunto, por ejemplo, uh, does your father have a car? Does your father have a car? El viernes. So we need to practice, practice and practice. And let me show you this. Yesterday, I sent you this, okay? To practice some WH questions. Here, person, what is the first one? It says, uh, let me, can you read it? Can you give me the first one? Here, where did you go to school? Person? Where did you go to school? Person? Uh, where do you go to school? Okay, right. Let, let's be let, let's be ready to answer. Exactly, right? The the question is like okay. where do you go to school? Good. Uh, number two, uh, Alexander, number two. It says what you do. Mm -hmm. Alexander? What do you do? Let's have the. What do you do? Again? It's. What do you do? It's what do you do? Exactly. Okay. So we have another one here. Uh, let me see. Uh, a, a Walter. Where John come from? Uh -huh. uh, where does John come from? Exactly. Where does John? Because John is third person. Where, yeah. Yes. Okay. Where does John come come from? No, come from. Yeah. From. Okay. Yes. Come from. And we have another one. Uh, Ruth. It says, "How long it take from London, Paris, to Paris?" How long does it take from London to Paris? Yes. H how long? How long does it take? Look. How long does it, does it, does it take? That is correct. So we have another one, Caesar, five. She go to the cinema. How often she go to the cinema? How often does she go to, pardon, how often does she go to the cinema? Exactly, right? She, her person, so it's does. How often does she go to the cinema? Exactly. Next, in number six, Liliana. How many children you have? Six. How many children do you have? Exactly, right? So we have how many children do you have? Misael, how many children do you have? I have two children. I have two children. Okay, very good. Yes. We have another one, number eight. Claudia, how often do you study English? How often do you study English? Exactly, right? How often do you study English? Good. So we have another one here, Robert. 
Uh, number nine, what time the film start? One time does the film start. Robert? One time. One yeah, time. One, one what time do the film start? The film start. What time do the or does? Film. Do or does? Does. Does. Does because the film is third person. Like It's like it. So in this case, it's what time persona. does yeah. the film start? Good. Number Más 10, for example, let me see. Carlos, number 10. Yes. What, what do you what do you, you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Do you? Okay. Where do you play tennis? Good. Uh, Walter. Uh, no, let me see uh, another one. Raphael, number eleven. What sport does Lucy like? What sports? Okay. Does Lucy like? That is correct. Okay. So we have another one. How they get to work? Uh, let me see, Oscar. How they get to work? Oscar? How they do get to work? <laughs> the audio, Oscar? How do How do they do it? How 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 do they get to work? How do they? Yes. And uh, this one is, for example, uh, let me see, uh, Alexander, thirteen. Oh, fourteen. Alexander, number thirteen. How often I I do come here? No. Okay, but remember uh, is that we need to use like do and does. It's a question. Do. How often do, do I? How often do I come here? Look, how often do oh, I? Thanks. You Every time for questions, you need do. Do, do, do. Next, hey, yes, like yes, uh, where do. in uh, yes. root number 14? That's person. Those. What a do she live? Does live. she live? Where does she live? That's right. Where does she live? Okay, she lives in a popa. She lives in. I don't Where know. Yeah. do you? Okay, Misael, fifteen. Uh, why, why you do eat you so do much do chocolate? Why do you? Why do? Do this? No. Primera persona. What does the machine do? Why no, that 15, you know, number 15. 15. Yes. Why do you eat so much uh, chocolate? Why do you eat so much chocolate? Yes. <laughs> why, why do you eat so much chocolate? Why do you eat so much chocolate? Chocolate. 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 Yes. So Good. Chocolate. Uh, next, Caesar. 16. What? what? This you, machine what does. Eat? What does they, this machine? What does this machine do? <laughs> exactly right. What does, does that this machine do? Yes. Uh, next, machine. Liliana. Who she meet on Saturday? What, what does she meet on Saturday? Okay. In this case, it's who. Who does huh? she meet on Saturday? Who is about a person? Next, uh, let me see, uh, Mr. Pukiri. Many brothers she have. Oh, oh. Uh, how does many brothers? No, how many brothers? She hey. she hey. hey, she hey. Okay, but no. we're making how a question. Hey. Do and does, question with do and does. Does. How many brothers? Uh-huh. Mr. Pukiri? Does she have? Have. Okay. Does she have? Have. Yes. Good. Number 19. Claudia, how, how much? Does they score? How much? How much? Does. 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 How much does this cost? Yes, it's singular. What and we have the last one, number 20, and it goes to uh, 
Let me give it to Raphael. 20. Where? Raphael? What are you? Do? Rafael? Rafael, can you? What are you? Do? Yes, yes. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Help me with number 20. What are you? What? Uh, where do you, where do you, know you eat lunch? Eat lunch. Yes. Where do you eat, eat lunch. lunch? That is correct. And uh, if you visit, for example, in the Schoology, in the, in the, let me see, uh, platform, you have some links and you can watch some videos. Yesterday, I sent you some videos. Did you watch the videos? I hope you did. And those videos, you can like in one way to reinforce, reinforce, you know, the knowledge about these um, simple present. I'm sorry? So we- Continue. Yes, okay. This one. We're gonna watch this right now. Just give me a moment. Here, let's listen and, and we're gonna check. Main verb. This present tense is used for the following reasons. Number one, for things that are true in general. Let me see if we can listen. Sorry, but the internet is very slow. Plant animals. Fruits and vegetables contain a lot of vitamins. Mr. Jackson lives alone. It's loading, loading, sorry. This, but this internet is, is not now loading this uh this video so it's taking too much time but uh, the idea if you visit Schoology you can find the link to this uh, to this video you can watch this video in YouTube it's, it's there the the video is in YouTube winter and the negative statement should be bears don't hibernate in winter the fourth one mrs spot cleans her can you listen can you listen no i don't no listen no teacher no 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 listen you can now listen uh let me see uh well, no teacher, uh, you cannot listen. Just give me. Solo Walter se que duerme. Son las pastillas, sorry. Estoy tomando pastillas que me dan. Now, can you listen? Sorry. Now? Can you listen now? No teacher, no, no teacher. Listen. No, no listen, teacher. teacher. You not here. No? No? Okay, uh, let me check. I'm gonna send you, uh, okay. Uh, let me see, just give me a second. Can you listen? No, you cannot listen. Nobody can listen. No listen, teacher. No teacher. No listen with this. Okay. Okay. We need to practice. I sent to you. Just give me one moment.
Página 31, vamos a trabajar. Yeah, page number 31, yes. This one. We're going to work in one conversation. Page 31. All right. Yes, just give me... Getting a, a verb. Yes, 31, page number 31. Just give me a second, we're 13, so we're going to make... Uh, Your teacher read the conversation. Yeah, so it's pardon. Yes, accept the invitation. Okay. You need to accept the invitation. Okay, everybody, accept the invitation. Walter, you need to accept the invitation. Oscar? Misael, Rafael, Walter? Accept the invitation. Oscar, you need to accept the invitation. Accept the invitation. A mí todavía no me cae la invitación, teacher. Tiene que aceptar la invitación. No me escucha. No me ha la invitación todavía. Ok, let me check. Sí, pero... Ok. So let me see two five. Okay, all the see you guys. Okay. And let me see, Misael, Oscar, Misael. Misael, are you there, Misael? Rafael, can you listen? Teacher, no puedo ingresar. Me puedo enviar otra vez. Ok, yes, no problem. Just give me one moment. Uh, let me see. Uh... Ok.
Right. What do you have to do on Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. Uh, let, let me see. Uh, Teacher, no era, no era ser, third day. Yeah, yeah, it's Thursday. 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 Yeah. Thursday. Can, can you listen? ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes. Okay, yes. It's Thursday. What do you have to do on Thursday? Okay, practice the conversation. Thursday. Rafael, can you listen? Sure. Yes, no, no, no puede conectarse. No, y ahorita me puse no, en otro, pero solo yo estaba. Ok, let me see. Uh, lo voy a asignar. Un momento. To number four. Just give me a moment. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? So, Samuel, I'm going to send it to, uh, let me, to another group. So, we're making groups, Samuel, and you need to work okay, with them. Yes. So, okay. uh, just give me a moment, Samuel. I to to ha, ha. <laughs> how to to die die how to do die, die. Is it? Mm, okay let's help let's help him with the pronunciation yeah. right what is it uh, the the question about Kevin uh huh mm -hmm. how to do that dies. Okay. I is have to do what that does dice. what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? Is that the one? What hmm? what what does Mr. Ruiz have to do die day? No, day. Have, yeah, let let's say okay. Let's let's concentrate on 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 uh, on each. Uh, let me see. Um, Verb, for example, Carlos. It says, What does Mr. Ruiz have have to do? Have to do that day. That day. Uh, that day. What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? Go ahead, Carlos. Repeat, Carlos. What, 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 what does? What does Mr. Ruiz have hate to do? Hate? No, no hate. Hate is odiar. In este caso odiar. es have. Have. Have to do. Have, have to have, do. Have, have to do, do that, that day. Have to do that day. Okay. No. Cambiemos un poco, cambiemos un poco la pronunciación. En vez de have to do that. En este caso, separemos en tres partes. Okay, uh, let, let me show you something else. Just give me one moment. 
um, we need to split the sentences sometimes uh, to understand better. The question is like this. Um, what does, okay, Mr. What does Mr. Ruiz? Ruiz. Okay. Carlos, repeat. Uh, what does Mr. Ruiz? What, what does Mr. Ruiz? Okay. What Ruiz. does Mr. Ruiz? What does Mr. Ruiz? What does what Mr. Ruiz? Mr. Ruiz? Okay. Then let's put a comma. Okay. Have to do. Have, have to do. Have, have to do. Have, have, like have. Have, 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 to, have, have to do. Have, have, have to do. Have, have. Ha, ha, like have. Have, have. No, have. No, no, no had. Let me see. The, the pronunciation have. is like, is like, you say like, like this one. Have. Pronounce it. Have. 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 Yes. Have, have to do. To do. Repeat. Have, have to, to do. do. Have to have do. To do. Have, to do. have to do. Have to do. Have to do. Have to do. That day. That day. Okay. Ahora, ahora, Carlos, que ya la oración la separamos en tres partes. Dividimos la, 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 la pregunta en tres partes. La primera parte es What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? Dígame las tres partes de manera separada. What does, what does Mr. Ruiz have day, have to do that day? Ok. Ahora quitemos las comas, quitemos las comas porque es una sola oración. Ahora démelo todo, no, no corriendo, no como What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? No, right? No, we need to go slow. Like, what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? Go ahead. What, what does, what does him? No, no doesn't. What, it's just does. What does, what does, what does Mr. Ruiz have, have to do, have to do that day? Okay, yes, yes, it's okay yeah. like that, right? You need to split it. El inglés se trata de, de entonar, la, en, dar la entonación a las partes principales. En este caso sería what does, right? El, el does tiene que, tiene que does. ir entonado. El otro que tiene que llevar entonación es el verbo have. have. What does Mr. Ruiz have? have. Y luego have. El, el complemento en este caso sería that day. That day right? that day. What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? Exactly, right? Okay, you can continue with the conversation. Right. Continue with the conversation. If you finish, if you finish no. with the conversation, uh, you need to do no. the other part. I sent you another, I sent you another picture. Uh, I think it was this one. Uh, what? This one, right? If oh. you finish, you have ah, okay, to do complete. Yeah. Okay. Si ya terminaron con la conversación, tienen que, comple tienen que completa completar esta conversación con do and does third person. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. In this moment. Yes, okay. perfect. But work together. Work together. Like Ruth, Harrison, yes. Carlos, work together. If they have uh, any uh, inconvenience with pronunciation, help them. All right? Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Finish? Did you finish? <laughs> Did you finish? Yes, finish. I finished. Finish. Okay. If you finish with that conversation, now uh, you have to uh, do the other part. I sent you another another uh, picture, this one, that you have to complete with do and does. For example, do you live in an apartment? No, I. No, I what? No, I. Is that it? No, I do. No, I do. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. And then, uh -huh. no, I don't. I, I do. I in the house. I do in the house. I live in the house. 
No, das es para tercera no, persona. Ah, sí. ¿En, ¿Cuál sería el verbo acá? In the house. Ajá. Ah. Ahí es el verbo. Ajá. Where I you live. live. I live. In the house. Ok. So you have to complete it. Yeah. Yes. I, okay. No, I don't. I live in a house. Correct. Yes. I live in the house. Like, do you live in, a, in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Okay. In and continue. House. I press. live in a house. Okay. Okay. Work together and complete it. Finish? Uh, finish. Do you have? Uh, if, uh, hello. If you finish, Teacher. you need to do uh, the, yes, other, yes. Uh, the other exercise, the other picture, this one. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. Uh, uh, this moment. At this moment. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just give me a moment. Okay, continue. And then we will check. Use, la, la respuesta es la segunda. Finish? Did you finish? Did you finish the conversation? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Yes, yes. Estábamos tratando de rellenar las, las preguntas. Yeah. I, oh. this, this one. Le, le dije otra imagen ah. de completar con do. Ah. Number one is here. Do you live in an apartment? It says no. Oh. No, I. Uh -huh. No, I do. No, no I, I don't. No, I, I do. don't. No, I don't. And then no, I, don't. I, I don't. I in a house. What is the verb? I, I. I, I have. Pero el verbo es vivir. Live. Do you live in an apartment? Is ah. no, I don't. I. Ah, I, I live in the. House. I live in the no. house. No, so I, I live in the house. I live. I live in the house. I live in the house. I live in the house. You need to yeah. complete the rest. Tiene que completar. All right. All right? Good. Okay. 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 No, pero a vos se está preguntando a una segunda uh -huh. persona. Uh -huh. Sería tú. Rafael y and, and, and Samuel, ¿finish the conversation? Yes. Ok. If you, yes, finish, if you finish the conversation, eh, I, I sent you a, a picture to the WhatsApp to complete it with do and does and, and also in, in third person, like this one. Here, the example. Do you live in an apartment? The answer is no, I. Rafael, no, I. No, I, uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. And then I. I live in, in house. I live in house. Correct. So you had to complete the rest. It's, it's in the WhatsApp. Okay, you can it. It's in the WhatsApp group. Okay. 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 Perfect. What do you have to do on Thursday? On Thursday. Thursday. Remember, third, third, like E. Eh. Thursday. 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 Con Z. Yeah, with Z. Third, like Z. Third, third, third. Third. Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Okay, now if you finish with that, I, I sent you another picture. And the other picture is to complete it with do and does, like here. 
Les envío otra imagen a completar, right? For example, it says, do you live in an apartment? And the answer is, no, I, no, I, Cesar, no, I, no, I, um, I, mm -hmm. okay, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you live in an apartment? And the answer is, no, I, I don't live in an apartment. No, I don't. Yes, correct. Oh. Right? No, I don't. And then I, I live in a house. In a house. Correct. So, uh, okay. Yes. So now, so we have, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Okay. Now you have to complete the rest. Okay. Now complete the rest. It's on your WhatsApp group. Okay. the same school. Do they study in the same school? Remember that in making questions, do and does should come first. Try to compare the different tests between the structures of the simple present sentences. We have here the positive and negative statements and the question. Example, her perfume smells good. Her perfume doesn't smell good. Does your perfume smell good? Honey comes from bees. Honey doesn't come from bees. Does honey come from bees? Honey comes from bees. Good. Does your perfume Does some nice? Do you live alone? No, I don't. I uh -huh. am with my no. 
I live with my family. No, no. Repítame lo de Julia. Ya me fue, Julia. no, repítame lo de Julia. That's so nice. nice. So Julia, uh -huh. in English, Miss Nell, English. Uh -huh. That's so nice. Do you live alone? Alone, uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I don't. I live with my family. Okay. Sounds eh, good. Uh -huh. El otro sería... Okay, so everybody's coming. So we got Oscar uh, this uh, person. Good. So we are here, right? To complete this, like, do you live in an apartment? It's like the answer is no. I don't. See? I live. Hi, Peter. Hi. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I listen. Great. Yes. Yes. So let me see. Yes. The activity was to complete the exercise. Do you live in an apartment? The answer is no. No, I don't. No, I don't. I, I live, live in a house. Okay. I don't. In a house. That is correct. Great. So next, for example, Raphael, Julia. No, I don't. Yes, and I live day. in a house. Great. R Raphael, next. <laughs> Eat the jar. Rafael? Rafael? No. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, Alexander. Help me with the oh. Alexander, help no. me. No, I don't. I will. In a house. Okay, hasta ahí estamos bien. Ahora la siguiente, la parte de Julia. Alexander, go ahead. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, next do part. you, do you that, eat? Uh -huh. Does, does it? Uh-huh. Does it a, a jar? Does it a jar? But you need to have a verb. You need to have a verb. Always you need okay, okay. a verb, an uh, action yes. verb. Uh -huh. I have a jar. Is that correct, Ruth? What is it, you, uh, Ruth? Have. It have, okay? That's it. Does he have? Does he have a jar? And then the answer here, Dennis, the answer, yes. He does. Yes. Does have jar. Uh, yes, you can say, yes, it has. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, it does. Only that. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does, good. Next, Alexi Walter. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Yes, do you live alone? And then Samael, no, I. Uh, no, I don't. Uh -huh. then no, I, I don't. I, I live with my family. Exactly, right? No, I don't. I live with my family. Okay, uh, next, Oscar. Uh, Ethan, I'm sorry, Julia. You, any brothers or sisters? Oscar? Oscar? Do you have any brother? No, I don't. I live with my family. Okay. Yes. And that is correct. Misael is, do you have any brothers or sisters? And then Ruth, next. 
Yes, I. I do. Yes, I do. I I have four sisters. Okay, and then. Do you do you have do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have. I have four, four sisters. sisters. Yes, that is correct. Next, uh, let me get Carlos. 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 Uh, Carlos. Sería, sería recomendable tener el, el audio listo para el momento de la pregunta y ya, digamos, proceder con la respuesta. Carlos, Rafael. Right, oh, Carlos is not there. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Liliana, help me. Really? Your house, any many bedrooms? No teacher. <laughs> okay. Nada. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. Danny. Me falló. Me falló. Really? Your Yo house. Yo entendido. Many dijo. bedrooms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dennis. Really? Does your house have? Really? Do your house? Active the audio. Active the audio to be able to hear him. Do your house? Uh -huh. Do your have house? Many, uh -huh. have, do your house have many bedrooms? Do, you? do your house? Do you? Okay, uh, let me see. Misael, what do you have? Misael? Does. Misael, are you there? Where is Misael? Yes. Misael? Yes. Are your home people? Uh, your house have mm -hmm. any bedroom? Are your house, remember, no bird to be. No um, is R. Right now, no bird to be. No, no estamos utilizando el verbo to be. El verbo to be is... Uy, 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 uy. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. Robert, help me with this. Really? Your house, many bedrooms? Robert, does your house, house have many bedrooms? Can you say that again? Repeat again. Does your house uh -huh. have many bedrooms? Yes, that's correct. Remember, your house, nos estamos refiriendo a la casa. La casa, una casa. Y en la categoría del it, es, es tercera persona. Entonces... Does your house have el verbo tener tiene muchos has many bedrooms yes has many bedrooms yes and then the answer Claudia yes yes it does yes it does correct it and then four does your house have ajá te lo dije Roberto four Okay, let me see. Uh, I, okay. Uh, it has four. It have. Remember. Have. Remember when you use have. El verbo tener. Have uh, four. Remember. Tener. El verbo tener. I, we, you, they have. But in the third person, he, she, it is has. Has. Con las terceras personas utilizamos has. El verbo tener. No have. Uh -huh. yes. So it has, it has four. Es el mismo verbo, solo que en las terceras personas cambia. Recuérdese, por ejemplo, I have a house, but she has a house. I have a car, my brother has a car. So it's different. Good. Next. Uh, Ruth, next. Julia. Do you have your own bedroom? Do you have your own bedroom? And then Walter, yes. Uh, have. Is yes. Yes. Walter? I do. I do. Yes, I, I do. do. I'm do. really lucky. Look. Lucky. I'm really lucky, no lucky. I'm really lucky. No. <laughs> Uh, luck. Luck. No, no, luck. Okay, uh, let me let me show you something else here. 
For example, on your on your book, again on the same page, page number thirty one, you have this one. And uh, for example, Samael, it says, yes. "What do or does Albert have to do on Thursday? Do or does Samael? What do? Do? Does? Do? Do? Does? 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 Perdón. Does? Sorry. It's does. Why? Because remember, Albert is third person. Is what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Okay. Good. What does Albert? Yes. Correct. What does Albert have? That is correct. Alexander, next. Like, why do or does Kevin need help? What does do Kevin? Does? Why does Kevin need help? Is is again does. Does. Why, does why does Kevin need help? Good. Uh, let me see. Uh, next, Rafael, are you there? Rafael. Rafael. Yes, teacher. Okay, next, number three. Who? Who do? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Exactly, right? And uh, the other one, let me see. Uh, uh, Dennis, number four. Uh, what does Mr. Reeves do on Thursday? On Thursday. What does Mr. Reeves do on Thursday? And then we have some examples here. Remember, now this question, the third person. So, we have to rewrite these sentences here. Let's say, Ruth, give me the first one. Create question okay. with the words provided. Okay, you have why he have a meeting. What is the question, Ruth? Why uh, does he have a meeting? Exactly, right? So I cannot, right? But it's why does he have a meeting? It's correct. Number two, the Oscar. Oscar? Where does she process? The payment. That is correct. Okay. Walter, number three. Walter, number three. Happy, sir. Yes. Number three. What? Who? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Weekend? Weekends? No. Wednesday. 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 Remember? Just the day practice the days of the week. Wednesday. But, Walter, Ingrid, is plural or singular? Singular. Singular is tercera persona. Singular. What is the auxiliary? Uh -huh. Das. Es das. Das. Okay, so the question is, what does, what does, what does do on Wednesday? Wednesday. 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 Yeah, uh, next. Wednesday. Uh, Misael, the last one. When employer obtain raw material. Mm -hmm. Number four. Yes, number four. When... What is the meaning at cure? Uh, it's acquire. Acquire. What is, what is the meaning of acquire? Let me see, uh, Oscar. Acquire. When, when I employer. All right. Ruth? No idea. No idea. Don't worry. Acquire. Let me give an example. For example, um, if when both and somewhere acquire the right material. Ma material, material. Okay, we have the verb acquire. Let me give an example. Um, let me see. Uh, I need to buy. I need to buy. Let me see. Uh, what? Um, uh, 20 computers. 
I need to buy 20 computers. So, I, I will acquire 20 computers. Adquirir, exactly. It's adquirir. Raw, what, what is raw material? Apply. Yeah. Raw material. What is raw material? Ellos de bodega no saben nada. <laughs> okay. No, no. They know a lot. They know a lot. Yes. Como, como materiales de primera necesidad. Raw material? No. Walter. 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 Okay. Walter. What is raw, raw material? Walter is leader. In materia prima. Es la materia ah. prima. Exacto. Lo que necesita es desarrollar algo. Yes. Un mecánico que nos diga. Yes. Ok. Es adquirir la materia prima. La materia prima es, por ejemplo, si usted, si usted hace, ¿qué? Usted fabrica tela. ropa. Camisa, se camisa. La tela, right? La tela es su materia la prima. Tela. Yes. Uh, si usted, ¿qué? Hace zapatos, la materia prima sería el cuero, right? El cuero. Yes. La cuerina. Misael, okay. uh, what is it? When employee when, acquire the raw material. When, when, when does employee acquire a raw material? Okay. Raw, raw material. Say it. Material. Raw material. Raw material. This one is like, like oh, raw, 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 raw material. Raw material. Raw material. Raw material. El inglés, el inglés no se no se lee como la pronunciación cambia. Por ejemplo, no decimos, no pronunciamos la t, suena diferente. No decimos ma, ma, material, 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 no, es like, like, ha, huh? ma, material, 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 yes, material, material, yes, and then this one is raw, it's not raw material, material, material. Oh, material. yes, so oh, the question is, when, when does employee acquire raw material, yes. Teacher. Yes. No le Teacher. Yes. ¿En qué, en qué tiempo, en qué momento, digamos, la T suena como, la, en materials suena como T, pero digamos, cuando dice actividades, activities, suena como R, o sea, ¿en cuál, cómo saber, en cuál usar, pronunciarla como R o como T? Ok, good question. Yes. Eh, por lo general, el, el inglés... El inglés americano, United States, you know, Donald Trump, we are learning uh, American pronunciation. In, in American pronunciation, we pronounce the T like R. And only in, uh, in London, they pronounce the T. But in United States, we don't say like, like T. But, and sometimes you can use it in two different ways. For example, here. Uh, let me see who's coming is Raphael. This one is? Water. water. Again? Water. It's water. It's water. 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 La T. Water. La T se pronuncia como R. ¿Por qué? Water. Uh, porque, digamos, a, la, a esta T water. le presento water. una una consonante, ah, perdón, una vocal, cuando a la T le precede una, una, una vocal, usted la, la, la pronuncia como R, water, 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 yes, water, and I can give you many examples, water. okay, let, let me see another one here, later, okay, later, later, water, later, later. Okay, uh, for example, here uh, I can say visit here, visited, visited, visited. Por lo general, la T se pronuncia como R cuando le precede una vocal. Pero tenemos, digamos, uh, algunas, uh, 
algunos ejemplos donde no se puede. Por ejemplo, uh, let me see. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, let me see. Activities. No, that, that's, that is okay. Here. Aquí tenemos una T, right? Protect. Protected. Aquí yo no puedo, yo no puedo decir protected. No puedo cambiar la T por, por la R. No puedo decir protected. ¿Por qué? Porque a la T le precede una consonante. Si se fijan, le precede una consonante. Entonces, esa es la única diferencia. Y este, uh, en, en, um, en inglés americano se pronuncia la R, pero en británico usted pronuncia la T. Por ejemplo, nosotros decimos water. Un británico va a decir water. 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 Okay. Uh, nosotros decimos, por ejemplo, later. Ellos, ellos dicen later. Okay. Later. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir hija, en inglés es, en American pronunciation es daughter. Da, daughter, daughter, hija, my daughter, mi hija, my daughter, daughter. But en, uh, en, en, en británico es dota, my dota. Dota, yes, my, my dota. My doubt. Esa es la única diferencia. Por lo general, en inglés americano, la R se pronuncia fuerte. R, water, later, ok? Visited, visited. Yes, and let me show you something else, uh, because we need to practice this. So now, we need to identify an affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences. So let me see if I can pull up this here. Uh, here, uh, we have these uh, sentence. Ruth, can you read the first one? Mm -hmm. Don't like hell. Plan. Tenemos las oraciones Sorry. positivas, yeah, negativas y question. preguntas. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Sunlight, sunlight helps plant grow. Exactly. Sunlight, la luz del sol, helps plants the Ayuda plants la to grow, right? Crecimiento. Ayuda a las plantas a crecer. Mm -hmm. La luz del sol ayuda a las plantas a crecer. Right? Sorry for the Spanish. Okay, let's focus in English. Sunlight helps plants grow. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Herson, give me this sentence in negative. Sunlight don't help plants grow. Okay. Doesn't. Sunlight don't or doesn't? Doesn't, doesn't. It's doesn't it, because it's third person, right? Doesn't help plants to grow. Okay, and in and, and, and question here, uh, Robert, what will be the question? Um, does sunlight help plants Uh -huh. Robert? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next sentence says, like. Yes. Like Help yeah. plants grow. Like helps plants grow. Like yes. The negative sentence should be, Sunlight doesn't help plants grow. Exactly, right? The negative, uh, uh, is sunlight doesn't help plants to grow. And what is the question, Robert? Again, the question? Uh, does sunlight help plants grow? Let's check. And for the question, it should be, does sunlight help plants grow? Yeah, it's correct. Does sunlight help plants to grow? That is correct. Good. Now, we have another sentence here. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me, I'm looking for uh, Caesar. It says here, she doesn't work 
in a bank. Look is negative. She doesn't work in a bank. What is the positive? Caesar. She works in a bank. She does work in the bank. Yeah, but we have negative. She doesn't work in a bank. What is the positive, Caesar? She works in, she work in a bank. She works in a bank? She works in a bank. Let's take a look. She does. She does work in a bank. Ok, recuérdese que en, la, en las oraciones afirmativas no utilizamos do or does. Solo necesitamos el verbo. ¿Y qué sucede con los verbos en terceras personas? Ah, Se yes, pone yes. S o E S, right? She, she works, works in a bank. She works in a bank. And Claudia, question, what would be the question? <coughs> In a bank. Again? Or does she work in a bank? In a bank. Okay, yes. The question is does. Does she work in a bank? Does she work in a bank? Exactly, right? So we have does she work in a bank? Now, we have a, a, a question here. For example, this goes for, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hey, Raphael, are you there? Rafael? Carlos? Rafael, Carlos? Did the chair, yes? Right, Carlos. I have the, the, the question. Do bears hibernate in winter? Do bears hibernate in winters? Bears is the animal, right? The big animal. Hibernate in the winter. So, what is the affirmative? Bear, 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 birds, hibernate, hibernate, hibernate into a ewer, hibernate, hibernate, ewer. Uh huh. Do birds, bear, bear, uh huh. The Bears hibernate in winter. Bears hibernate in winter. As a negative statement. Yes. So affirmative. Bears hibernate in winter. Good. Now we have in, in, in negative. Let me see. Raphael, negative. Okay. Okay, Ms. Lael, go ahead. Help us with uh, negative. Bear, bear, bear dozen. Bear dozen. Bear dozen. Uh -huh, okay, bears doesn't. Let's take a look. Okay, remember, Mikhail, bears is plural, so it's bear. don't. Bears, like one, two, three, four, five, six bears, animals in plural, so don't hibernate in winter. Yes, so we have another one here. Uh, this goes for Oscar. Oscar? Is Oscar here? No? Oscar, I'm looking for Oscar. Oscar, where is Oscar? Oscar? Okay, he left. Okay. Positive. Mr. Scott cleans her house every morning. I'm sorry, Mrs. Mrs. Scott cleans her house every morning. Negative, Samael. Mr. Scott. Mrs. Scott. God doesn't clean her house every morning. Okay, doesn't clean. Remember, when you use doesn't, the verb is original. Mrs. Scott cleans her house every morning. The negative statement should be. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa 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 abreviatura? Esta. Mrs. 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 Cuando alguien, a una, una, una señora está casada o con hijos o divorciada o viuda, se le dice Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Scott. Ok, uh, let me see. Uh, Ruth, the, the question. Does Mrs. 
Does Mr. Scott clean her, clean, house, clean her house every morning? Okay. Does Mrs. Clean house every morning? And the question is, uh, Mrs. Scott, does Mrs. Scott clean her house every morning? Yes, it's correct. House. So, brush Liliana, next. It says, you don't brush your hair every mm -hmm. night. What is the affirmative? You do brush your hair every night. Every night. Hey. Okay, we will take a look. Thank you. And the last one. You, you don't brush your hair every night. Positive. Positive. Then she'll be brush your hair every night. Okay. Recuerden, el do y el da no se utiliza en, 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 en positivo. No se puede decir you do brush. Porque ah, okay. es para preguntas o para negativas. Pero okay. en este caso el verbo es brush. You brush you your brush. hair every night. Yes. Uh, and uh, Dennis, uh, the last one. Uh, do... Do you brush your hair every night? Okay, thank you. And the question should be, do you brush your hair every night? Yes. You br do you brush your hair every night? That is the question. Okay, uh, I know. Let me see. Yes, it's, it's, it's time. It's almost time. So this is, you can find this in the... Uh, as a teacher. Yes. You can find it in the uh, in the schoology in the uh, the platform. Let, let me show you that. So you just go here to a schoology and you can find the videos, okay? Describing the routine, simple present. You can find all the information. So for tomorrow, everybody, you need to do uh, the, the homework in the Schoology. Todos tienen acceso a la plataforma de Schoology, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, so let me see. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have here, uh, you go to, uh, let me see, where, where is it here? Look, una vez usted ingrese a la página de, de Schoology, como lo hicimos la vez anterior, está semana 1, semana 2. Le da click en semana 2. It's going to take time, I know. Okay. And then, uh, le da click en la, en la semana 2 y luego le parece tarea 1 y tarea 2, right? Tarea 1 y tarea 2. También ahí aparecen los links de, del video que acabamos de ver. De, de completar, de affirmative, negative, or uh, interrogative. You have the videos here. But for tomorrow, please do the homework number one and homework number two in the Schoology. You got it? Yes. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to have like full speaking. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to talk, only talk. Because on Friday, okay. on Friday we're, we're going to have our first evaluation. El viernes tenemos nuestra primera evaluación escrita. Del, de, digamos, todo lo que hemos visto del el verbo to be, cuando utilizamos el verbo to be, en los posesivos como my, your, his, her, Mr., Mrs., and, uh, and of course, el, el, lo que viene más cargado es del do y el does, ¿ok? La, la regla de la tercera okay. persona, like, my father, my father watch TV every day, ¿ok? Is correct? My father watch TV every day. Robert, is correct? No. No, right? My father? No. Watch it. Watch, it. watch it. Correct, right? Si en la evaluación usted me pone, ma, mi padre... Watch, my father, watch TV, incorrect, right? My father watches. So we need to practice and do the homework for tomorrow, all right? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. I have uh, a question. I have a question. I have a question. Yes. I have a question. 
Yes. Eh, usted mencionó de que íbamos a grabar eh, lo que le íbamos a mandar un audio de una conversación. Correcto. Esa va a ser la tarea que le voy a dejar para el fin de semana. Se lo voy a dar el viernes. Voy a crear una, una sección de preguntas y tiene que como entrevistar a otra persona en inglés. Okay. Right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. See you I'll tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Okay. Do the homework one and two. All right. Good night. Good night. Have a good yeah. one. Okay. Bye, Mr.